Hi, I'm Lynn Sinclair Taylor. Welcome to my small display of prophetic art. What is prophetic art? Prophetic art is art that comes from your heart because of your love relationship with God. So we'll begin by just going around the room and seeing a few of my works. The first one is I Am Beautiful. It relates to self-esteem and I like to believe that when people look at this work they, they feel good about themselves and realise that in God's eyes they are beautiful. And below that, I am free to be me. Another work where it's encouraging the viewer to accept themselves for who they are and to be free to be themselves. The next one is called A Brighter Tomorrow. A lot of people have fears today about what's going to happen in the future, but I believe as we know Jesus as the way, there is a brighter tomorrow. This is a very textured work. I love the colours, they're some of my favourite colours. Below that are just a couple of little paintings that go together that can be shown one above the other or alongside each other. One is called Sanctuary, the other one is called Bell Tower. Moving on, which road, which door? And there are words in this piece which say, which door do I open? So many doors, how do I know? Which road? Where will it lead? Who will show me? And of course, from my perspective, it'll be Jesus that shows you the way for life. Below that is just a little piece. I was just playing around with shapes one day and I realised it looked a little bit like an angel. So I've called this angel on assignment. This piece is one of my favourites because I love a range of colours. My logo is adding colour to your life and I think this painting really explains that. Lots of texture, um, in the midst of it all there's a cross and to me that explains in the midst of whatever you're going through, Jesus is the answer. He is with us. He's there to comfort us and to lead us. Below that, I've called this bells and whistles because to me, bells and whistles are everything that you need for life. And Jesus is in this piece, overcoming evil. And they're the colours of the tabernacle. So all the fruits of the Spirit are mentioned in the upper part and the things that Satan, uh, Jesus has um, overcome Satan and all the uh, things that are hatred and envy, all those things, Jesus has overcome them in our lives. This piece I really enjoy doing, I've just played around with textures, uh, the little shapes are doorways and of course it's in the shape of a cross which represents that Jesus is the door, he's the way and it's only through the cross that we come into real life. This one here is, I just love playing around with textures. It's got the word freedom in there, it's got the word uh, freedom in the cross, salvation for you. And then there's little parts of the Bible relating to the cross and Jesus dying on the cross for us. Here's a little print of a huge print I did on Easter Sunday this year. The actual original was five foot by three foot, or might have been four foot. And it's Jesus breaking the chains, it's called Released. This one here is different to anything else I've ever done. It's very colourful. I woke up one morning with this impression before my eyes and I knew I had to paint it. I didn't really know what it was all about and I asked God what it meant. The circle re represents coming into the presence of God. The little tangled lines and dots are the colours of people's lives that represent people and the lines across the horizontal lines represent the barriers that st will stop us trying to enter into the presence of God and one person has entered into God's presence so it's called entering in. This one here is I love doing sculptural type work, I love the 3D look about it, it's called Angels and it's wonderful to remember that we all have guardian angels and God has sent angels to be with us, to protect us, He has healing angels and so I just love the whole angelic um, subject and I intend to do more angelic paintings. This one here is representing Christchurch and the cathedral. It is called uh, Christchurch, There is Hope. In the background is the national anthem written very subtly in the background. For those of you overseas, our national anthem is a prayer, a very powerful prayer. So it's a message of hope. This one here, I just love playing around with the colours. It's lots of texture. 
Uh, it's called Love, Joy, Peace, so those words are actually in that piece. But it's just a colourful piece that would look great in a modern home. These two are is called, from a spiritual perspective, the King's Daughters, and we, as, as women who are Christians, uh, this represents who we are. We are royalty in the eyes of God. So it's got lots of texture and sparkle, and uh, to me it really looks like a regal painting. I'm really pleased with that one. And these are just a couple I'm working on at the moment, haven't quite finished them. As an evangelist, I, I thought I'll do a painting that represents evangelism and challenging people to go out and share the gospel. And the one to the other side of it, this one here, is just the beginning of a series I'm doing on purity. Something uh, very contemporary, look great in a modern home, and a little, little bit of texture as well. So that's just the first on my series on purity. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed that and had a little bit of an idea of my prophetic art and may it encourage you also to do prophetic art. So bye for now. See you next time.